Hello and welcome to Long's Toys. Today I have a Super Mega Force review for you. This is the Q-Rex Megazord, or Gojujin in Japan. Uh, this is pretty much the form that he comes packaged in. You just have to snap on the head and the tail and the arms. But this is the Rex mode. I'm going to just kind of push him off to the side for a sec just so I can kind of show you the packaging real quick. Now he does come with a ranger key, which in this case is uh, Dino Thunder Red Ranger, which is weird um, because in the show he uses Quantum Ranger, uh, the White Dino Thunder Ranger, and uh, Green Mighty Morphin Ranger. Those are the three keys he uses for the three different modes. As you can see here, he's got a robot mode, a T-Rex mode, and like a drill tank mode. Drill tank is Quantum Ranger, uh, T-Rex mode is Mighty Morphin Green Ranger, and then the White Ranger from Dino Thunder is the robot mode. So I'm not really sure why they gave us Dino Thunder Red. Um, Would have been nice to get uh, either Quantum Ranger or White Ranger from Dino Thunder because he's going to be coming out in a three pack already later on this year. And Green Ranger from Mighty Morphin is coming out in a three pack. So, would have loved to see either Quantum Ranger or White Dino Thunder, but I don't know. That's what we got. Um, here's the side of the box. Cool picture on the side. Not really much on this side. I did want to kind of show you real quick. See if I can get this to focus. There is the Ninja Megazord, or I should say the Little Ninja Zord. And that's going to combine right there, which I'm very excited for. These are two new bikes that are coming out later. I think this is Operation Overdrive, and I believe that's Jungle Fury. Although it kind of looks like a wolf from um, Wild Force, but I think it's Jungle Fury. But then here we have the, I believe here that's being called Turbo Falcon Zord. Um, and as you can see, they can do kind of the Centaur mode with it, or it can combine into this uh, Ultimate mode, which I think looks really, really cool. So I wanted to show you that real quick, um, and then I'll kind of put the packaging off to the side. But a uh, little bit of a preview for the Turbo Falcon Zord and the little Ninja Zord. Okay, so here we have the Q-Rex Megazord in Dino Mode. I really, really like this mode. I think it's my favorite out of the three. Uh, the tail can move a little bit. Because it becomes an arm later, it has a little bit of motion there. And if you'll notice here on the back, if I pull the tail off temporarily, there is this little black piece here. Um, that can fold in and, and be straight, but then when you're, when you want to use it for, you know, something else, like the drill tank mode, there we go, um, but you can pop it out on a little bit of an angle, just so it sits better with the tail. The mouth does open. You can open the top of his mouth, or you can open the bottom. Either way. He's got some nice paint apps. Uh, he does have, on the side of his arms, I don't know how well it'll show up, but you can see the kind of anchor and the pirate skull right here. Wish that was painted white. Um, otherwise, I think in the Japanese version, these had some gold on them because they look like his trident on the knee pads here. Other than that, the paint looks pretty good. As you can see, if you want, you can lift his tail up a little bit or have a drag, however you want it to do. He's got four connectors here on the back, and this actually can flip up for a little bit longer connector which I think is going to come in handy later on when you have things that need to connect onto his back. 
Now, this piece here in the Japanese version uh, was a dial that you turned to make the tail spin. Um, I'm not really sure why they left it. I guess just because it also kind of looks like a spike in this mode on his back. But I feel like if it was getting in the way of other transformations, they could have just left it off since they took the functionality out of it. But overall, I think that this mode looks really, really good. Okay, so to transform them into the drill tank mode, you're pretty much just going to disassemble all the pieces. Actually, you can, you can leave the tail on, just push it straight. Uh, but you're going to disconnect the legs here, right above the knee. And then flip these down, pop the hands off, you're going to pop the head off, and then this hole that's on its neck, pop it right there, straighten out the feet, and you'll see that the feet have one connector and then one like hole. And you're going to go ahead and match them up here and here. Do the same on the other side. Then you're going to take these and come around underneath. These are the T-Rex hands. They have little wheels on them, as you can see. And I think you just pop them on like this. And now you can see in the drill tank mode, it rolls okay. It's not bad. It's a decent little mode. I mean, it's definitely, you know, my least favorite out of the three modes, but that doesn't mean there's necessarily anything wrong with it. It just, you know, the robot mode or the T-Rex T -Rex mode are that much better. Now, it does have some functionality right here. There is a little slot that you can plug a Ranger key into. And it makes the drill spin. Not that great, but like I said, in the Japanese version, you could turn this to wind it up, and then you would turn that switch in the back, and then it would release it, and it would spin uh, based on torque. Uh, also, in the Japanese version, this used to open up, and you could do you could open it up, and then kind of open it up, and then fold it in, so it made like a trident, which was really cool because. Silver Ranger's weapon is a trident. But overall, I think this is pretty good drill tank mode. So to transform them into the robot mode, you're just, again, going to pretty much disassemble all the pieces. This time you will take the tail off. Disconnect the legs. Take the arms off the back. Pull the head off. So that you're pretty much just left with this torso. Mm, yes. Connect the legs back on. But now they're going to be all straightened out instead of bent forward and like in T-Rex mode. Fold that down to form the drill arm. Straighten out the neck on the head of the dinosaur. Now, if you want, you can leave it like this, so it has kind of a T-Rex head for a hand, kind of like Beast Wars Megatron, but you can fold these open and there is a fist inside. That's the official mode. Um, now, to come around to the back, you're going to just basically find storage for the T-Rex arms. I think the directions technically show it like down like this. Or you can kind of try to put them up like this. It's really your preference. I just like to put them on like this. I just think it looks good. They're symmetrical. The other pegs don't get in the way this way. And it just, you know, it looks fine. He just has a little bit of a backpack, but it's no big deal. Then you're going to fold this part down. Flip the head out. Close this back up. And then each of these will just click a little bit away from the head and there you go you have Q-Rex Megazord I think this mode looks really good I'm gonna bring the head in real close just so you can kinda of take a look at that 
I think it's some really nice detailing. I really like the color red. I love the green eyes. And the blue and the gray are all done very nicely. Very impressed with that. I really like the uh, detailing. I like this dark blue with the kind of lighter teal or sky blue. I think the color scheme just works really well. And overall, I think it looks great. It's not really missing that many paint apps that you'd notice. Um, again, in this mode, you don't even really care about the anchors on the T-Rex arms. Um, but maybe a little bit more paint here on the knee pads. Really my only complaint. Otherwise, I think it looks pretty great. I like the big feet down here on the bottom. So yeah, overall I have to say I think this is pretty great. Now this hasn't really been shown yet, um, but these two can combine, although it's kind of lame. Really, and this is official on the show, at least on the Japanese version, and I think it will happen on, this, on the American version as well. When uh, Gojujin and the Japanese version would combine with Gokayo, literally all they would do was swap out arms and he would let uh, Gokayo use his arms. It's not really that great of a comp combination as far as two Megazords merging together, but... As we know from the back of the box, and also the directions for Q-Rex Megazord uh, give instructions when the Turbo Falcon Zord uh, comes out. That's going to become legs. Uh, they will use uh, the Q-Rex Megazord's arms. There will be a piece that fits over here for a bigger fist. And then this will open and another piece will go in the chest. So the ultimate version with the Turbo Falcon Zord, we'll use the Q-Rex Megazord's arms, just like this. But, on the show, I think we'll see this, because it did happen a good couple times in the Japanese version, where when these two would merge, he would just use his arms. I mean, since they're Zord Builder, you could do that anyway. It's not really much of a special combination. Um, you can go right ahead... put these arms on him if you want you could switch samurai megazord arms go say great arms it's zord builder so all those combinations are possible but this i think will be a show official mode at some point also real quick i just wanted to show you uh since this is a new key that we have not seen before uh dino thunder red it is some really nice paint, actually, as far as... Uh, okay, he really... really Camera really wants to focus on the morpher. Let's get in close here. There we go. Some really nice paint on the helmet, I have to say. It really is nice, and the symbol on the chest is very nice. Lift this up. Spring-loaded flip. And as you can see... The Dino Thunder symbol underneath here. And if you want to go ahead and scan that, I guess you can. Alright. And now I will go ahead bring out the Morpher here. So we can hear the sounds that it makes. So it says Dino Thunder. And I bet you can guess what this sound's going to be. If you said communicator sound, you're right. So, that's pretty much it for the sounds it makes in the Morpher. But I will say, it is a very nicely painted and detailed key. So overall, I have to say that the Q-Rex Megazord is pretty great. Um, unfortunately, I jumped on the Gokaiju train a little bit uh, too late into the game, so I was not able to get a Japanese version of Gojujin. Um, oops, straighten that out. But I have to say, this guy is a pretty excellent uh, substitute. I think that it's very faithful to the original, with the exception of the drill opening and a couple paint apps. But otherwise, it's pretty great, and certainly much cheaper than trying to hunt down a Gojujin at this point. 
My only really complaint is the inclusion of the red Dino Thunder key. I mean, it's a nice key, and I'm happy to have it since the 3-pack isn't available yet. But to me, it's a little weird of all the keys to include why you would include this one. I would have much rather seen Quantum Ranger or White Dino Thunder, seeing as how we'll already get Red Dino Thunder in a 3-pack later on. And that 3-pack, I believe, is going to be Red Dino Thunder, Blue Dino Thunder, and Black Dino Thunder instead of Yellow. So we're going to miss out on the Yellow Dino Thunder key as well, which is kind of a shame. I don't know if the 7-Eleven Ranger key thing is still happening or if that was really just a rumor that kind of went nowhere, but I would love to see White Dino Thunder, Yellow Dino Thunder, Quantum Ranger, along with several others, you know, in that 7-Eleven buyable key packs. However, they're selling them singly in groups. I'm not sure, but I would love to see that. But like I said, at the end of the day, I think Q-Rex Megazord is a wonderful addition, and because it's Zord Builder, you can have you know, any kind of combinations you want, you can go nuts with that. I think, uh, the arm switching is an official mode, so I definitely think we'll see that at some point in the show, but otherwise you can swap any limbs you want. The legs can switch off and go on, uh, Legendary Megazord's legs, any Zord Builder compatibility as per usual. Uh, I definitely think that the T-Rex mode is my favorite out of the three, but the robot mode is also very good. Um... The drill tank mode is all right, but it's nice to have a third mode. Um, but absolutely, I think the Q-Rex Megazord overall is pretty excellent. Please tell me what you think in the comments. Please like and share this video. Please make sure you're subscribed. There's links in the description for my Facebook and Twitter. Please follow me on there as well. I hope you enjoyed this review of Super Megaforce Q-Rex Megazord, and thanks for watching.